Let's go ahead and dive into this Jamie Lynn situation because she's featured on a reality show titled I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Now, this series is a classic. I remember watching Heidi and Spencer on this series back in the day. They were definitely villains of the show, but pretty much they take these celebrities or these D-list celebrities, they put them in the jungle and they make them live off the resources of the land, make them compete in some challenges. It sounds really really difficult. And by no surprise, Jamie Lynn is not a fan favorite. A lot of viewers are theorizing that they won't have to watch Jamie Lynn Spears on the screen for much longer because they believe she will only last a few days in the jungle and on this show. Part of the reason is because it's very difficult out there. But another part is that she's not that likable and it's a voting show. So the rest of everyone else is going to vote her off. My name is Jamie Lynn Spears and I'm best known for being an actress and a singer. I would think that maybe all of these sprints would be like, who is this dumb redneck coming on here? Can anyone tell us what this Southern girl is saying? Why am I doing this? Why is Jamie Lynn doing this? She's been on several reality TV shows this past year, and it's kind of getting creepy. Almost as creepy as it is for her to describe herself as a singer and an actress, and to avoid the fact that she is Britney Spears' sister, which is really why she's there. Throughout the series, celebrities will be voted by the public to take on trials, which potentially include eating animal anus, being buried alive along snakes, and swimming with baby crocodiles. So, who, if the public voted, then they might make Jamie Lynn do all three. This person wrote, I will be very surprised if Jamie Lynn lasts more than four days in camp. I think she'll walk this week. I don't like water, I don't like heights. I don't wanna have to eat weird things and have weird things crawl on me. Uh, I don't know, I don't like that. I'm not looking forward to any of it. I don't even know what it's like in there, but like we could do like a talent show, right? If we're all bored and need something to do. Make up some dance routines, some TikToks, I don't know. Now, Jamie Lynn, let's be real here. I don't think they flew you all the way to Australia to do some half-ass TikTok dances. They want to get the tea on Britney Spears. Clearly, that's what producers are thinking, but they might not get far. Some of the other fellow celebrities were trying to figure out who Jamie Lynn is, and they were asking her some questions, and it was pretty painful to watch how she avoided saying Britney's name, talking about her mother playing the piano and how she got into music because of her family, not mentioning that her sister was one of the biggest or is one of the biggest pop stars of all time one person wrote i had no idea she was famous in her own right to be honest i genuinely thought she was just britney's sister who got you into music <laughs> um i've always kind of been in music you know what i mean oh, right you're a musical family aren't you yeah did it come like was your grandmother into it my mom right? plays piano a lot oh right okay yeah but it's not just the public's reaction to Jamie Lynn that's not going well. It's not just the public who has their opinions, the crew also have some feelings as well. Quote, but away from the cameras and scenes that aired on TV, it's her, Jamie Lynn's behavior in camp that has become obvious to the crew. She has kept herself somewhat separate, not really socializing and staying in bed, which I didn't think they had beds in the jungle, so just, what, laying on the ground? Quote, it looked like she's really missing her family and of course, unlike the other celebrities who are all from the UK and mostly know of each other, Jamie Lynn didn't have any immediate connections. So she's probably having a terrible time. She doesn't know anyone. They don't know who she is. She's not bringing up Britney Spears and it's just making everything really tense. I mean, there was a moment where the hosts even bring up Britney's brother, Brian Spears, claiming that Jamie Lynn is famous because of Brian Spears and making fun of the fact that Britney is not a topic of conversation. Jamie Lynn Spears, actress and singer, but maybe best known for having one of the most famous siblings in the world. Yes, Brian Spears. I can't believe we've got the Brian Spears' sister on this show. Remember guys, Jamie Lynn is a person in her own right, not just Brian Spears' sister, okay? Mm -hmm. So they are really making it awkward here, saying, Brian Spears, I can't believe we got the Brian Spears' sister on this show, which nobody really talks about Britney's brother, Brian, even though I am itching to do a deep dive on him. So comment below. But because of Jamie Lynn's behavior, they feel like she's going to walk off set, which doesn't sound as simple as it normally does because she's in the jungle, so she's not like walking anywhere, unless she wants to be dinner to some jungle panther or something. But she has been labeled as a flat 
flight risk by crew, which is interesting because that's what they labeled Britney Spears when they put her in that illegal conservatorship. But there are some headlines that claim that Jamie Lynn isn't speaking about Britney Spears because Britney had banned her sister from talking about her, which I think makes sense because Britney has always felt like Jamie Lynn has used her name for financial gain. I mean, look at Jamie Lynn's crappy book that she put out. I wouldn't want my sibling to ever speak on my name ever again if I was Britney. Though there is a moment where Jamie Lynn brings up their feud and mentions that she did speak to Britney before going on this show. Maybe that's when Britney told Jamie Lynn to leave her name out of her mouth, but here's that clip. So where do you live? I live in the country. We have like 180 acres. Wow, so it's yeah. like what you call a ranch or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And now you, okay, your sister is obviously a superstar. Yeah. You yeah. are a superstar. Why, how come the both of you, what made I, it? I think every family fights and has their stuff. But, you know, I talked to her before I came here and we love each other. It's just, you know, it's a now, personally, I wouldn't just call their feud a regular family fight. It's much deeper than that. There are legal implications. There are lies that have been told. But there have been moments where Jamie Lynn has been able to open up about her own trauma. And maybe this is good for Jamie Lynn to focus on herself and her own name. And speaking about how it was hard to be a 16-year-old pregnant after being on Zoe 101 and having the world against her. Jamie Lynn got deep with another character named Fred, and here is a part of their conversation. Yeah, it was very successful. And after I finished Zoe, I had my, you know, love of my life is what I, you know, would have thought. And I got pregnant and I decided to keep the, the baby. I had a baby and the whole world was like, you're, a shit, you're horrible. Your life's over. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. And so. you feel that? You felt it? Oh, yeah. Because I got pregnant young. I was on a kid's show, you know. Your parents were good with you when this happened? Uh, yeah, they had a lot going on. But, you know, I just think they were just sad that I was in that situation. But also, it's your baby having a baby. I had to go hide away um, for a long time. What do you mean you went uh, hide away? I do remember hearing stories of Jamie Lynn hiding away, whether it's in Mississippi or I believe in, like she was in Vermont at some point, like their management put her up in a cabin there. And part of the reason she was in hiding wasn't just because she was a 16 year old pregnant back in 2007, but her sister Brittany, one of the most famous pop stars, had no idea. And Brittany actually found out when the world found out. I feel sad thinking about Brittany and Jamie Lynn's potential relationship because they could have had a great bond, but I think in fault it's due to the people around them it's because they've been so controlled and jamie lynn wasn't allowed to tell her sister she had this people magazine special announcement of her pregnancy so there were a lot of forces against them because they were relentless i was like what do you mean depressed i was um i moved to mississippi and literally hid put a gator on me but you disappeared completely from i had 20 paparazzi on me every day i i went to, but they wouldn't leave me alone they came and lived in mississippi middle of nowhere it was horrible. And so I was like, I hated it so much. I just wanted to be normal because I wanted my baby to be normal. And everybody told me I was going to be a horrible mom. So I was like, I got to raise this by baby by myself. And so I did. And, and, you, and you raised it by yourself? Yeah. She had a child at 16 years old to bring up a daughter. I mean, wow. I mean, I've got goosebumps just thinking about it right now. I mean, wow. Even though Jamie Lynn is so unlikable, I do have some empathy for her there because people weren't kind back then and it must have been hard. Especially like looking at the old paparazzi videos, they are not the same nowadays. They used to hound these celebrities, so she really did lose part of her freedom. Nothing compared to her sister, but she gets emotional talking about having this baby, having people against her, those trying to influence whether she can keep her baby or not. So there are some parallels between her her pregnancy and what Brittany went through with Justin Timberlake. When you went away, you were you you, you hadn't give, given birth yet. No, when I went away, well, it gets even more complicated. When I first um, got pregnant, um, sorry, we don't have to talk about this. Fine. We don't have to talk about this. Uh, no, when I first got pregnant, my um, they didn't want me to have the baby. Who's that? <laughs> Just a lot of people around me. So it's got to be hard for a 16 year old to deal with because she already feels like she did something wrong. So then now to have the people try to take away this mistake from her rather than owning it. I mean, it's a hard decision to make. Not that Maddie is a mistake, but, you know, back then everyone called, you know, a 16 year old pregnant uh, a mistake. So that's just where we were at 
that time. And um, Jamie Lynn expresses how people, I don't know who, but some people told her that she should terminate her baby, which isn't very like, I don't know, not trying to associate like that with Christianity, but her family's very Christian. So the fact that anyone would propose that kind of surprises me. Because remember, it wasn't Britney's family telling her to you know, get rid of her baby. It was Justin Timberlake. He's the one that told Britney that he did not want this child. And she was quoted writing that this was the most antagonizing situation she had ever been in. The pain she had was intense and it's something she wishes never happened. Here's some more of Jamie Lynn's story featured on the show. But um, nonetheless- because you had so much strength of so, character to do what you did. And then when I got out of that, I um, uh, told my parents I was gonna emancipate them. So that way I could make my own decisions. What did you do? So well, I was secretly telling her I was going to doctor's appointments, stuff like that, and I was going to meet with a lawyer. So you basically become an adult or you become free of parental authority before the time. That's what yeah. it means, yeah? And so what I did though was, I said that I told my mom I was going to get gas one day, but I went and met the lawyer and I showed up at the house with the lawyer. And he followed me there and she was like, oh my, my, my poor mom, we put her through it. Um, wow, and then she, that's proper teenage stuff. Yeah, and so then uh, she was like, she didn't want me to do that because she knew that that would mean I'd probably marry the father's child and lose my fortune that I had amassed, you know, over the years of working since I was very young. She's like, just go, baby. You don't need to, you know, like, just go. It was like the first time in my world I had no one else. It was like I was in control. And you know? did your parents come and visit? Yeah, my mom did. Yeah, of yeah. course. I don't know what's wrong with me. Why well, I wouldn't take the easier out sometimes, but I just don't want to. Thank you for watching this clip from the Let's Get Into It podcast. To view the full episode, visit the link listed below.